In chapter 2368, the narrative shifts its focus to the evolving relationship between the siblings. As Trenton returns home to check on Cameron's progress in eye treatment. The chapter opens with a heartfelt conversation between Trenton and Cameron, showcasing the genuine concern Trenton harbors for his sister's well-being. His unexpected return from the university is fueled by his worry for Cameron, particularly regarding her ongoing eye treatment. This exchange highlights the strong sibling bond they share, emphasizing Trenton's desire to be present during pivotal moments in his sister's life. Cameron, on the other hand, responds with a mix of teasing and sisterly concern, noting Trenton's lack of communication skills over the phone. Their interaction reveals a nuanced dynamic, blending familial affection with a touch of humor. Her commitment to her brother's education is evident as she encourages him to focus on his studies. With plans for him to intern at Newman's Enterprise during breaks, Caleb, as the supportive brother-in-law, suggests that Trenton partake in the celebration of Zachary and Serenity's wedding by drinking the ceremonial wedding wine. This familial moment signifies the importance of shared joy and unity within the Newman family, even as they navigate the challenges brought on by external forces. Cameron, displaying her characteristic pragmatism and care, outlines a plan for Trenton's future involvement in the family business. She proposes internships during breaks, ensuring he gains valuable experience without the pressure of a direct role in the company. Trenton, however, expresses a passion for drawing and photography, revealing his desire to pursue a career as a painter and photographer. The chapter captures the essence of familial understanding as Cameron neither discourages nor explicitly endorses Trenton's artistic aspirations. Instead, she opts for a pragmatic approach, integrating his interests into the family business while leaving room for his individual pursuits. As the familial conversation unfolds, the story introduces an unwelcome development, the persistent presence of the eldest aunt and the second aunt. These antagonistic figures from the Joyner and Chandler families are portrayed as unwanted visitors who, having suffered severe setbacks in their businesses, attempt to reconcile with Cameron. Their relentless insistence on seeing her reflects their desperation and fear of retribution from the formidable York family. The Joyner and Chandler families, having faced the consequences of their actions against Cameron and her family, find themselves in dire straits. The loss of their businesses and the need to sell off assets to settle debts serve as a dark reminder of the repercussions of challenging the York family, particularly those led by the protective and influential men of the family.